So, um, so Ms. Blasket has five minutes, please. Thank you. I won't use the five minutes. I'm needed in another um, meeting, but I just wanted to follow up with a couple of short questions, particularly, of course, for um, my the good woman from the Virgin Islands, Ms. Reimer Brown. Um, you talked about the disaster-related circumstances in which we've been given 100,000. That, if we move back to the 55% match that had been previously, that that would cap would bring us to about 18.7 million, correct? And and what is correct. the amount? And what is the amount of money um, if we were given the state-like treatment that it would be at? Do you know what that number it would be? I am not sure. However, we are requesting, as I said, for the 100%, we would be requesting $251 million for two years, and then we would continue at the 83% um, federal level, and those would be for the next three years. But I'm not sure exactly that number. What the percent of the 83 would be. Yeah. Right. The, but we know that at, um, for... Um, 55% it would be 18.7 million, right? Yes. And that's woefully inadequate. What would be the delta that you would need from the 18.7 million to satisfy the needs of all the um, individuals that would, if given state-like treatment, be, be eligible for it? We're not sure at this time. We're not sure at this okay, time. Okay, but if you could get that number to me, that yes, would be really helpful will. for the record. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about, um, would you, we talked a little bit about the physicians, and do you, can you state specifically what specialty services we are not being, we are not providing for individuals right now? Yes, there are several um, cancer-related situations that we need to airlift. Um, our major cancer center was tremendously damaged on the island of St. Thomas. We used to fly individuals from the island of St. Croix over to St. Thomas, but now that center has been down for the last two years. Uh, the orthopedic specialists, the trauma specialists, when we have major um, accidents and situations, workplace accidents, we have to airlift our um, members off island mm. to receive the treatment on the mainland. And how does this impact recruiting physicians to the Virgin Islands in terms of if there is a belief that we will be reduced in our uh, Medicaid treatment moving forward, how, how will that impact the ability to not just have specialty doctors, but to have regular physicians, general practitioners, pediatricians, et cetera, to treat this population? It would greatly reduce it. Um, before our ACA treatment and getting the additional monies, we were perhaps maybe at about two to 300 providers. We have over 700 now because individuals were attracted that we had the additional monies to provide services for our members. But if we were to be reduced once again, the, uh, the ability to attract those specializations would be greatly, it would be very hard for the territory to do that. Thank you very much. I saw you had a note. Was there anything you wanted to add? Um, yes, he has. Uh, what is it, 87.2? Mr. Smith, she can't read your handwriting. You're not only the director of Medicaid, you must be a doctor as well. <laughs> okay. The, at the 55% federal, we would re require 87.2? Is that correct? And at the 83%, 52.6. Okay, thank you very much. And I yield back the balance of my time. 